Hello anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 13 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today, it's time for the long-awaited rematch in the Sun Belt Conference title game between South Alabama and the undefeated Texas State Bobcats. South Alabama has one loss this season, and it did come at home to Texas State in, like, week number nine. Since then, the Jaguars have won pretty convincingly every week, save uh, a 10-point win the following week against Arkansas State. And you can see on third down on the first shot of the game, Texas State is going to throw incomplete, and it's a punt. The South Alabama defense finally forces a stop. And you can see third down and three right there on the first try for South Alabama State. That'll be a two-yard pass, setting up a fourth and one from the Texas State 42. South Alabama lining up to go for it. They're in no man's land, fourth and one, looking like power formation. The handoff to Francis, and he's hit and dropped. He didn't get the first. So both defenses coming up with nice stops on their opening drives. And Texas State back on offense, and there goes Damian Williams again. 33-yard gain, picking up pretty much where he left off in week number nine. This defense could not get a stop. It was by far their worst performance of the season. As on second and seven. Tyler Watts can't quite stiff arm him into the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And knocking on the door, looking to strike first is Texas State. South Alabama looking to try and get a stop and avenge, you know, really their worst defensive performance of the season. They're coming in off of their best defensive performance, but that right there is going to be a one-yard touchdown run for Damian Williams. And Texas State strikes first, they lead 7-0. 3.15 to go here, first quarter. Second and two, and soon South Alabama drives. Samoria Collier are going to make the catch. That's good for a gain of 13, and that's a Jaguar first down. Fourth is 2 of 2 on the day. It is first down from their own call at 37. 2.45 to go here, first quarter. In this matchup of top 10 teams in the Sunbelt Conference Saw game, and there goes Xavier Johnson. Xavier Johnson, the senior tailback, right up the middle on a gain of 20. And South Alabama is into Texas State territory for the second time today. They failed on fourth and one on their first drive. Now they're going a man of motion. Harris will get it on the jet sweep. And Sam Harris will get a gain of 14. And that's another South Alabama first down. They got it now. At the call at 21 of Texas State, it is second and two, a minute to go here, first quarter. South Alabama on the move, looking to tie this game up, and Francis dives up the middle for a gain of three, and that will take us to the end of the first quarter. It's seven nothing Texas State through one, and a third and ten for South Alabama here. Two seconds gone by here in this second quarter. Orth, you're going to take the snap on her center. They'll give to Johnson. Johnson pulling his box. He's not going down, and he's in. Xavier Johnson fighting through traffic and into the end zone on third and ten. And just like that, South Alabama's tied it up. And the handoff on first down, and oh no. One play, and Texas State back in front. As he took the handoff, and there was nobody home on defense for South Alabama, that's an easy touchdown run. And the South Alabama defense looking a bit like it did in week number nine. Save that first possession in which they were bailed out by a couple of drops. Francis will get a 12-yard gain right there on the pass. Set up first down. Orth is 4-5 for 35 yards so far today. Six and a half to go here. First half now. Texas State with a seven-point lead. And it's first down, they'll give to Johnson. Johnson stumbles, still on his feet, and there goes Xavier Johnson. One man to beat, can he beat him? No, the diving tackle saves the touchdown. But Xavier Johnson got loose. He stumbled, regained his footing, and took off. And it is now third down and 11, actually, from the 12. They couldn't get any momentum after that big 
run or back to pass. Here's he throws incomplete. And that will set up a fourth and 11. And fourth and 11, if it was closer, maybe you consider going for it, knowing the struggles your defense has had with this Bobcat offense. But needing 11, the safe thing to do is exactly what they are going to do, and that is have Patterson come on for a field goal try, which he makes. So 4-19 to go here. It's 14-10 Texas State. Back to pass. Nice catch. Pretty good coverage by Lawrence. But Gabe Schrade again at 13. Damian Williams, 2 of 5 for 34 yards. And they'll hand it off again. And he's down the sideline. Puts on a little stutter step. And Robert Brown going to get a gain of 27 more. Later in the drive. Now it's third down and inches. Getting deeper into South Alabama territory. There's a couple spin moves. And there goes Anthony D. Taylor for a gain of 12. This potent Texas State offense is back at work here. Now it's third and inches inside the 10, down at about the 6 of South Alabama. They'll hand it up the middle, third and inches. First down for Taylor on a gain of 4. First and goal from the 3 with about a minute left to go in this first half. They'll give the handoff. He's into the end zone, untouched is Robert Brown. That's a three-yard touchdown run, and now it's a two-score Texas State lead. Second and eight for South Alabama. As they're going to try and get points before halftime. There's Collier underneath for a gain of 10. And now it is second and 10. Ball's at the 45. 35 seconds left first half. Orth going deep. Actually, no. Slant route to Harris. That will be good for a gain of about 10 with a flag down. It'll be a roughing the passer, and just like that, the ball's at the 30 of the Bobcats. First down, 30 seconds left, first half. Orth going to scramble right up the middle, slides down inside the 15, and a nice little scramble right there for Evan Orth. Later the drive, first and goal from the one. Orth will keep himself into the end zone on the QB sneak. 17 seconds left, and it's back to a four-point game. South Alabama does get the ball to start the second half and bouncing it to the outside, and this could be trouble. Four Jaguar defenders giving chase. Is anyone going to catch him? No! And they're going to take the kickoff back. Elijah King going to return that one 98 yards. And we reach halftime. Texas State up by 11. It is third down and one. Everyone saw King was going to bounce it to the outside. It was so clear he was bouncing it to the sideline. No South Alabama return, return defense was there, though. No Jaguar there. And on third and one, not going to get the first down. Down by two scores here. This defense is out of trouble. They're going for it on fourth and one. North has a man, but hit as he throws. Two more seconds. And he had, I think it was Rinkemeyer on the slant route. Instead, it is a turnover on downs and more broken tackles. What else is new for this defense against this Bobcat offense? Texas State making this Jaguar defense look silly. They talked about trying to get revenge for their worst game of the season. And that's an untouched touchdown run for Damian Williams. And they are picking up power at this Jaguar defense. It is now an 18-point game. Third and 13 on the ensuing drive for the Jaguars. And they're in danger of letting this game get out of hand. They'll go on the, on the screen. Johnson's going to get a gain of about nine. But it sets up a fourth and four. That play call was all about making a more manageable fourth down. Fourth and four down by 18. They're going for it again. What else do you have to lose? Harris? Mm. He was right at the sticks, and they're going to call him down to inches shy. It's another turnover on downs. But he was right at the first down marker, and it depended on the spot. Did not favor South Alabama, and another turnover on downs. They did force a third down, but then they left the tight end trade wide open down to about the two. Handoff up the middle, touchdown Texas State. Now it is 42 to 17, and this game has gotten out of hand here in this third quarter. South Alabama trying to get back in it, a throw deep to Rinkemeyer over the middle. And it'll be a first down, they'll give it to Johnson on the counter. Johnson got a big hole, he's across midfield down to about the Texas State 46. A nice run there by Johnson, he's had success again 
He had success in the first game against Texas State, too. Second and eight, the slant to McCray. That's going to be another first down. And now they've got it down to the 23 of the Bobcats. It's second and two. They'll give to Johnson up the middle. Big hole down to the 10. A flag down for a face mask. And they will accept it. Now it's first and goal from the five. It'll be second and goal from the one. And now fourth and goal from the one here early fourth quarter. And it is a touchdown on the QB sneak. They'll try an onside kick here. Anything to get back in it. It's going to be picked up by South Alabama, but not before an illegal touching on Malcolm Bugs. Wipe out the potential onside recovery. Third and one up the middle, and that's another first down. Texas State getting what they want here against this defense. On second and nine, though, a nice open field tackle in the backfield. Sets up a third and 13. If South Alabama were ever to get a stop, this is probably their best chance. Instead, it's a big gain down to the five to set up first and goal. And another untouched touchdown run by Damian Williams. This is just a massacre here in the Sun Belt Conference style game. But Rinkemeyer laying out for the catch. This South Alabama offense is not giving up. They are getting nice yardage. They're still trying to desperately make this comeback. Because there's Harris on the slant route over the middle for 10 more. It's probably not going to matter, seeing as they're down by 25 with four and a half to go, and this defense couldn't stop anybody if their life depended on it. But it is nice to see South Alabama trying, as there's another first down pitch and catch right there. Or they'll keep it himself. Read option, shake off one tackle, and get the first. It is nice to see that there is no quit in this South Alabama offense. Throw to Harris over the middle. That's another touchdown. Harris into the end zone, and South Alabama's cut it back to 18. And again, they will try the onside kick. And again, it'll be illegal touching, wiping out any potential onside recovery, which I think Texas State did pick that one up, so it wouldn't have mattered. But second down and four. What are you doing, Alford? And oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Alford had his head stuck in the clouds, and that's going to be a touchdown. Alford was turning facing the side, tried to get him turning to face forward, and instead he dives, and it's another untouched touchdown run by Williams. He is making this Jaguar defense look silly. Orth will scramble here on first down, though, and he's got it down to the 25, another flag, perhaps a face mask. And that is indeed what the call is. It is second and two now. They'll give to Foster up the middle. Denzel Foster down to the one. First down and goal from the one. Foster powers into the end zone. Touchdown Jaguars. It's not going to matter as this game has long been decided. It is a 19-point game. Make it 18-point game. Texas State back on offense. And stop me if you heard this before, a big gaping chasm for this running game to run through for Texas State. Down the sideline, down to about the five before someone finally brought him down, before someone even touched him. And now on first and goal, they'll shake a tackle and get into the end zone. And that sounds about right. 28 seconds left. It's 62 to 38. This game has long gotten away from the Jaguars. But this offense is still fighting. Third down and one. Four seconds left. They'll throw over the middle. Rinkemeyer makes the catch. With one second left, they're not going to get another playoff. And that does it for the Sun Belt Conference title game. You can see South Alabama out yarded Texas State. But they really struggled on third down. And when your defense is going to put in as pathetic a performance as this Jaguar defense did today you got to be perfect on third down. South Alabama was not. And this game just really got away from the Jaguars in a hurry. And really, the entire complexion changed on that kickoff return. I knew he was bouncing it to the outside. I could see it unfolding. No one was there. And the rest is history. But if that kickoff return does not happen, you're down by a score going into halftime. On that first, fourth down, you punt it away, trust your defense could get one stop. 
Instead, the return half and you're down two scores, have to go for it because your defense won't get two stops. And the rest is history. The route was on from there. But that will do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.